This is my block, Puerto Rico. What? Salte. Are you ready? Latinos, are you ready? This is my block, Puerto Rico. True it. Reggaeton is street. See that? Reggaeton is sex. What is perreo? It's just like sex on the dance floor. I love my job. Reggaeton is the struggle. We're really in a place that not even Puerto Ricans come. This is the hardest, the roughest. And this is me. Reggaeton is a way of living for us, the Latin community. Daddy Yankee, welcome to Puerto Rico. Mi bloque desde Puerto Rico. This is history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. Behind me is the biggest historical landmark in Puerto Rico, El Moro. And standing next to me is the biggest star coming out of Puerto Rico today, my man Daddy Yankee. What up, fam? What, 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 sweet? Que paso, amigo? Que paso, man? Oh, man. Welcome on TV. You're in my island, okay? Puerto Rico. Ella le gusta la You have such humble beginnings. You know, when you come back and you now you're on an island and you're Daddy Yankee and people know you all over the world, what, what is it like for you now? It's so beautiful because I become like a symbol of pride to everybody because everybody know what I went through to get to this point. I was hustling, I was playing baseball, I was doing any kind of stuff to be successful. Well, I want to test your skills out because you, you know, you call yourself Daddy Yankee. Can we take it to the baseball field? Yeah, let's go like to back the Back in the day? Yeah, back right, in the come day. Come on, man, let's, let's do go. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy, 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 daddy. You ready for this? I'm ready for that. Man, don't complain if I hit a home run or something like that. Man. Oh, okay. Right. You don't complain if I fan you with this fastball, <laughs> all right? Before we get started, I got to represent me, Bloke, right? I love Puerto Rico. All right. But I'm going to represent Oakland. Okay. That's where I was born. All right, play ball. Daddy. A lot of kids look at this sport as a way of a means of getting out. Oh, definitely. If you're Puerto Rican, you ever have to play baseball or boxing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't do one of those, you, you're not Puerto Rican. I grew up playing this baseball field. The name of the field is Santiago Iglesia, but they put on another name, Juan Cintron. He was our coach here. You know, he got killed right there. It's something that you will never forget. How old were you when that happened? I was like six years old. A manager for a kid represented like a role model. Now what I'm starting to discover about Puerto Rico, similar to the States or any other hood, is at some point you got to make a decision. It seems like you're always surrounded by these streets or, you know, you try to take a different route. Definitely. It's, it's like me. I was playing baseball. I, I went to the Seattle tryouts here in Puerto Rico. I was going to get signed. And then all of a sudden, in a bullet, boom, I got shot. Right here. It was when I AK-47. They no joke, you know what I'm saying, with that. So it was a wrap for me to be a baseball player. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like very frustrated. I was disappointed by life. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, God gave me this talent mm -hmm. to support my family. That's how I get it. I, you know, I fell in love with the reggaeton culture. Daddy, Daddy Yankee. How ironic for you it is that that bullet led you to music. Oh, yeah. So what do you think of that bullet today? I thank God for that bullet. Being honest with you, when you're in a caserio or, or something like that, the only role model that you have is the hustler. So the kids, the only way that they see in success is just making money in the streets. Mm -hmm. So right now, they have another option. Look at Jenky, he's doing good. He came from the same place that, that, that we are, mm -hmm. and he's making this happen. He's among the kings of Latin American hip hop, but in a genre dominated by sex and style, his is the voice for the underdog. Tego, Tego. This is the heart of Puerto Rico right here, Tego Cotteron. This is my block. Put 
are the significance of the drums? This is the, the African heritage of Puerto Rico. This is the music they used to play. And it's all over the island. It's not only from Loiza. Everywhere where Africans are, uh -huh. there's a different way of playing it, a different way of dancing it. But this is the, the African heritage. Tell them exactly where we are. We're really in a place that not even Puerto Ricans come. This is the hardest, the roughest. This is me. This is my block, Loisa. Loisa, all right. And these are the people of Loisa. What is this heritage? What makes Louisa one of the unique areas of Puerto Rico? It's been 100% black population where the free slaves came, they got this land, they did the best they could. Mm -hmm. The history of blacks down here, they feel a shame of, of the color of their skin, you know, constantly on TV. They're trying to make us laugh about us. Mm -hmm. You know, they paint their faces and all that shit. That's why I talk about it. I'm not done with that You know what's like peculiar in a sense is when you come from other places, like I live in the States, you would think that when you think Puerto Rico that everybody lived under one umbrella and, and came from the same place, so the color of skin doesn't matter. That's what, what, what they teach you in school. is like we had a trilogy of races, black, Spanish, and Indian. It's not like that, you know? Society. The way we are treated in society, jobs, school, mm -hmm. blacks in Puerto Rico uh, are inferior in, a, in another level. And so now having the, the, the power of, of doing music, uh, I, I like to talk to people on Tego's point of view. This is how I see things. Hate me or love me, I really don't care. <laughs> for Loisa forever, but people down here are happy, and we have a lot of fun down here. It's a part of that African heritage that you talk about in Loisa, right? That's why it is. That's what I want them to know, yo. This is beautiful down here. This is my blog, Loisa. travel all the way to the north coast, a place called Fajardo, because I want to get the real game from the real riders. And if you ask anybody on the island who's one of the realest, they're going to tell you hands down, this man right here, Votio. Why you call yourself Votio? Nah, in the past I worked in electricity, you know, and put the hand in the wrong side and ah. <laughs> you know, got that electrocution. We know some rappers to get shot, but you got electrocuted, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the first. Yeah, now, what is this right here? I mean, everybody got a bike, they got quads. You know, nothing to do, let's get bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Oh, what's that right there? That's the wheel, you know? Check this out. You see that? That we call it the endo. Why do the streets love you so much? Some guys who sing reggaeton are fake, you know, but everybody right here know me. The people love me because I think I'm from the street and represent the street. The whole deal represent the street. That's it. What is this, man? This is a cop fight. What is pereo? It's just like sex on the dance floor. Puerto Rico! Puerto Rico!